Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest trends, news, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you live on location from Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. And I am here with the new CEO of the Infrastructure Masons, Mr. Santiago Swing Naga. Santiago, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much, Dean, and thanks for the audience listening to us this morning, this lovely morning here in Austin, Texas. It is a lovely morning in Austin, Texas. So Santiago, I, you know, I'm going off script already, so you'll forgive me, but you are the new CEO of the Infrastructure Mason. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you became the new CEO of the Infrastructure Masons? Absolutely. Yo, you know, for me, it's an honor uh, being appointed the CEO of Infrastructure Masons mm -hmm. because this is a very, in, you know, inspiring organization it across is. the the industry has been for quite some time, like eight years. I before uh, I was a, a member. I joined like in 2018 as a member. Then I brought my former company into the into the community of I Masons, and yeah. more than glad to be leading these efforts that are very needed in the industry because we have a plenty of companies trying to participate, but we need more organizations that yeah. can unite the the, uh, the companies in a common voice for this industry. We couldn't agree with you more, especially uh, with regard to uh, being inspired by the iMasons. I remember uh, first hearing about it and thinking, this is something that's been needed in the industry for a very, very long time. But let's, again, I'm, I'm not even going to ask you any of those questions, um, but let's talk about what the next 10 years for the iMasons look like. Like you as the new CEO, what, what vision or what dreams do you have for the organization? You know, uh, Dean, we, we would like to take iMasons to the next level, what is needed in the industry, because we're in a point in time very challenging, you yeah. know, with uh, we haven't seen this kind of innovation and growth potential, especially with Ever. the AI, yeah. right? So uh, we're preparing the organization for it has to be, you know, trying to support the, the industry as a common voice, because many companies are doing its own efforts, right, initiatives. Mm -hmm. And but what we lack is like a common voice yeah. that could be harmonized and synchronized to, you know, advertise ourselves uh, better outside, yeah. you know, because we have done many great things as an industry yeah. uh, throughout the years, but we haven't been very good advertising out there, you know, yeah. because, you know, the common people there, they are not just aware of how this industry represents, you know, they use their the uh, electronic devices, yes, yes. but they are not thinking what's behind to deliver those yes. experiences, those uh, transactions and that digital infrastructure relying on. Yeah, I love I love that so much because um, what, what we're really talking about is education. We're talking about community. We're not just talking about educating the people in this room. We're talking about educating the people who the people in this room have to educate in order to get a data center built and to, to understand how that data center or any digital infrastructure really can become kind of a symbiotic part of a community. Yeah, we all need to be ambassadors for our industry because, you know, many people that have found that this industry, they're uh, very, very glad to be a part of it because this is an industry that has been recession proof, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, resilience and supporting most of the world's economy nowadays because mm -hmm. every aspect of the world's economy is touched by, by digital infrastructure. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we, we should be ambassadors trying to increase the awareness, try to bring more people in because the industry is growing at a very fast pace. And you know, the forecasts on the coming years are just crazy. So there's a shortage in, on, in, in, uh, for the talent on the pipeline. Yeah. So we need to bring more professionals in the industry. We start with uh, we should start with the early awareness, even in high school, so they yes. can choose career paths that are towards this great industry. Yeah. And that's what iMasons is doing. We have a plenty of initiatives around education, inclusion, because we need talent from diverse backgrounds. You know that it only uh, makes us all better. Absolutely. Yeah. You know that even. Even uh, if you take underrepresented groups in our industry, you know, there are stats that out of our workforce, employees mm -hmm. only 10% are, are, are women. Mm -hmm. We're missing half of the world's population, yeah. you know, in our, in our pop talent pipeline. Yeah. And, and we have other initiatives as well, such as sustainability, innovation, 
and we're cooking a new thing around the the social the social aspect of it the social yeah. accord you know to uh, to address mo most of the community concerns of the digital infrastructure being deployed massively here around yeah Wow. Okay. There, we, we, I feel like we could speak all afternoon about just that one topic, but unfortunately we don't have all afternoon. But so uh, last question for you, sure. uh, sustainability and, and uh, sustainability as something as a more formal uh, uh, initiative uh, across the industry. How is iMason's or, or rather what is iMason's role in, in kind of helping to make, uh, help make that happen? Yeah, we have been for a while yeah. uh, huge stewards of sustainability. You know, a couple couple years ago, we founded the IMESOS Climate Accord. Mm -hmm. And let me uh, get jump on that. But, uh, you know, many, many companies out in the industry are doing its own effort. And they're more more sustainable than ever. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we need a, a common framework to align better on the industry to reach the goals. Because mm -hmm. most companies have committed to uh, you know to net zero for 2030, some others to 2040, and 2030 is just around the corner. It really and is. some of those commitments came just even before AI. Yeah. Now with AI, it's even yeah. more challenging. Yes. So uh, what we did, we in one of our advisory uh, council meeting with uh, industry leaders, we founded the MS Climate Accord. And, um, you know, we have uh, achieved to uh, 270 companies to sign up and join. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most important companies, not only the digital infrastructure in the world, uh, like AWS, Google, Microsoft, Meta, yes. have joined. Yes. Right. And uh, they have signed up for a, for a standardized framework that could tr uh, track and reduce embodied carbon footprint in, in all the components that goes into the yeah. digital infrastructure, such as materials when we're building, you know, like green concrete, yeah. we have uh, equipment, you know, uh, from MEP, IT, and the way we purchase energy. Because, you know, for those kind of companies, their commitments to achieve net zero are very challenging if their supply chain is not aligned towards those goals. Yes. So if we're aligned on a framework and we work all together, it's easier to get that and the journey will be less choppy. Yeah. to get to that to that target so we're very proud to have a uh, you know founded that effort i was one of the lucky ones that were uh, i was present during that meeting two years ago yeah and um and and well m maybe you have heard our executive director miranda from the climate accord I just interviewed her she's Great. brilliant as, as you know yes yeah and uh so we're proud of that effort we're uh, constantly evolving we just issue an EPD letter from their governing body, including mm -hmm. uh, the hyperscalers, AWS, Microsoft, Meta, Google, and uh, Digital Reality, Schneider Electric, yeah. plus the other 270 companies supporting this effort because we're uh, helping out with this uh, framework and approach for the company to reach those uh, net zero goals, even with AI, which has become more yeah. challenging. Yeah. Um Let's do this again in six months after you had a chance to, to take your coat off and, and, and enjoy yourself as the, uh, as the new CEO of the iMasons. Absolutely, Dean. And thanks for the space. Thanks for the opportunity. And thanks to JSA TV. Thank you. And uh, thanks for the audience listening. It's always good to share our insights and, and, and get together. Excellent. Santiago, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay connected and I'm going to say stay dreaming. And we'll see you soon.